Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. So you're telling me that you got stronger by having your arm ripped out and by replacing it with that bad boy there? Well, there's a little more to it than that, but that's pretty much the gist of it. All right, I got an idea. Hey, Red. Yes, Shin? Don't mind me. I'm just gonna... Oh, this can't be good. Apply a slight pressure and pop. Wait, 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 wait. I got, I got to process this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <sighs> ah! My arm! Why did you rip on my arm? Ah! Stop being a big baby about it. Put him back on. All right, how does this one work for you? All right, well, I'm gonna try to move it and. Listen up, Rangers, welcome to the Geek Chest. My name's Steve. My name's Ernest. And today I'll be going over the Robot Spirits Pacific Crim, the Black Atlas Destroyer from the Side Jaeger figures. Steve, why is the box empty? Because we've already opened it. It was in our best figures of the year. But how are we going to review it if the box is empty, Steve? It would it have, well, actually, I think the figure is legitly behind you. It's still in the box. The cat was in there. He was having fun. Found it. Here you go. Arnaz, this is a bag of ramen. Yeah, close enough. They're both made out of the same plastic. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Touche! Touche! <laughs> is it on my side? I'm pretty sure it's in the box. Okay, yeah. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, it is. Hey, hey, hey! Here, Steve. You uh, forgot a sword. You know he would at least won battles if he had that sword. <laughs> right? <laughs> Mega Kaiju, here I come. <laughs> I don't I don't even think I could jokingly get him to hold it, because he only has clenched fist. Well, crazy or always open works. Hand. Yeah. Maybe for another time. For one of the like because I wanted to get an extra one of these to customize, and then I found out there's Yu Hakusho figures, so I'm not getting an extra one anymore to customize. No, those Yu Yu Hakusho figure are way better. Yeah. Well at least like in terms of like money distribution, I'd rather get those than an extra one of these, to be fair. But anyways, uh the main reason I got this is because I like the anime. Pacific Rim of the Black was pretty sweet. It was. And it's just been kind of picking up just whatever Pacific Rim figures come out anyways. And, well, ex sorry, except the Diamond Select ones. Because I haven't really needed to pick those up because I got the Robot Spirits. Yeah, I feel like that's like 50-50. Um, you can either get one or the other, you'll be satisfied. You don't need both of them. Yeah, it's like Robot Spirits are more articulated. The other ones were better painted. So I kind of kept going with the articulated ones. I just like me some import figures. And I'm kind of glad because this works with those. And... Diamond Select never made this one. Yeah. So I wouldn't be able to get any more of the Jaegers or whatever they decide to make for more for the anime, even though they haven't announced anything new for that, and I'm kind of sad. I was hoping we'd maybe get some of the characters. I just want them to continue the anime. Yeah, that's supposed to be coming out too. Yeah. Sometime. Right. But anyways, without well, further ado, for the packaging, you get the Jaeger here on the bottom, right down there. Uh, you would see this kind of just chilling on the inside of there. It's got a Netflix sticker. Yep, tie you in. Well, actually, technically, that's how you know it's legit. But it has that. It has the Bandai Tamashi. You got the legendary. Got another, like, CG model there. You got Atlas Destroyer just kind of standing there. Got the name here on the side. Back of the bag, it just tells you about the Jaeger, some of the stuff it comes with, and then some legal mumbo jumbo on the bottom. But, anyways, since we got it opened up out of its cardboard prison, let's get into it. Alright, so now that we got Atlas Destroyer opened up out of its cardboard prison, first and foremost comes with accessories, starting with all this stuff. Jesus. Except for this thing. <laughs> oh, no, no, that's his now. Nope. That uh, is for the Hydra Stumper. But, anyways, first and foremost, you get this, which, if you haven't seen the anime, I would recommend walking away now because <laughs> this is kind of a little bit spoilery, but this is from the end of the series where Atlas Story loses its arm and it gets it replaced with this one. No, Steve, don't ruin it for me. I'm sorry, but gets, um, uh, it's been a minute since I watched this, but anyways, it loses its arm and then the, um, 
the Kaiju Jaeger replaces his arm with this one. And the reason why I got this one is because it also has the whip weapon, which this is just a solid piece of plastic, so it's super fudging terrifying, but it has a little peg that goes into this thing right here, but I'm going to have to get a tiny little screwdriver or pliers to get that out because I tried getting this out during the unboxing video. And? You got it, Steve. Eh. Oh, no. Nope. I'm a nail. But we'll get back to that. And then it also comes with a pair of open hands for smacking up some kaiju's heads. How you get those on is you grab at the base of the ball joint, you pull that out. Then, same thing, just push in. Pretty simple to do. And then you also get clench fist on the actual figure, which look really good. And then for the arm, we'll swap this out real quick, which I almost feel like. It's supposed to be that way, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. I think it is, isn't it? Uh, these pop off. Well, that was very easy so far. Which, if you want, if it pops off and you want to know where it hooks onto, it just goes in between the ball joints of the shoulder here. Then you just grab that and pull that out. Yeah, because if you look at the back of the package, it's got it showing right there. It's just, sometime it got rotated. But you just take the ball joint, <laughs> knock the other one off in the process <laughs> and then just pop that one in pretty simple to do and then you have to take your piece put it back on like nothing ever happened now it's got its damaged little pincy fingers which personally I think is a cool look and kind of is a reason why to get another one of these is so you could have like clean Atlas Destroyer and then damaged one yeah the damage like end of the season atlas destroyer because beginning of the season it's going to be like this yeah. so it's kind of i guess it's nice to have options but i feel almost like obligated that i need to get a second one because this is it's weird right it's kind of the neca problem because if this was a neca they you wouldn't have got this but this one it would have been its own figure well, for Robot Spirits, they give you, like, everything you really needed from the anime. And you're still a Steve, and you go buy a second one, so you can <laughs> <Yeah. get it. laughs> Right? But they need to be on my shelf. What do I do, Arnez? Not buy it, because you don't need it. I don't, but I want to. But, all right. I got to get this off, and then uh, I'll show you guys how to pop that on without breaking it. Hopefully. All right, got it off. Steve, can we just stop right here? Don't add anything to it. Looks like he's actually useful now. He has a can. <laughs> he's got a gun. Technically, it's a she, I believe, but still, we'll call it an E Whatever. just because. We just we don't discriminate. <laughs> oh, what's that thing that you had earlier that you said it did not belong to him? Remember when you dumped the <laughs> accessories? Oh, you mean the Hydra Samper thing? There you go. Yeah. Look at that. I was gonna say if that fits, but oh. it's a little too. It's too big. Oh, look at that! Boom. <laughs> That would be kind of cool, though, to be fair. All right, so the easiest thing you might notice is I took the fingers off, so I didn't have to worry about breaking them. And then it's this piece here, but I kind of just gripped it and then rotated it and then lifted up, and that got that off. So anyways, you have this part of the whip. There is a correct way of putting it on. You'll see that there is a little key right there in the hole. Then there's the same kind of groove indentation right there. Now you just insert it in. Which ah! Get probably the, one of the most terrifying accessories that I've ever owned. <laughs> because there's no give. Like if this guy tips over, this is snapping off completely. Crack, snap, and pop. And it, it, it's not gonna take much. It's neat. Would I like to display it like this? Yeah. Am I going to? No. You're going to put it in the arm, and the arm's going to be laying in front of him. If I was going to have this displayed like this on my shelf, I would have a him hooked to a stand. Yeah, you would have to. If I was doing anything, like there would be the peg hole right there in its crotch. I would have a Tamashi X stand hooking into that, and then I would feel comfortable with this. But knowing my luck... Um, it's just better off just hanging out in the box, but it's still pretty sweet. And then just make sure when you're taking it out to apply pressure on the, the, uh, base of the claws here and then pull out. So you don't want to rotate or anything cause I'll snap it too. And then these guys are all just on ball joints. 
So they're really easy to get on and off. And the nice thing is too, is even for how small they are, I'm not really that concerned about breaking these. Because even when I was popping them off, you just bend it down and lift. And that gets it off pretty well. So overall, accessories, great. Pretty much like I mentioned, you get everything that I would think you would need for an Atlas Destroyer. Outside of maybe like little, like little versions of the pilots maybe. But that's probably asking for a little bit too much, yeah, to be fair. Yeah, I mean, you got to think about the price, Steve. Now, granted, I think it would have been cool if we would have got some Jaegers. Or, like, if there was, like, a Kaiju specifically, I think would have been really great. Or even the, um, the, uh, the Kaiju Jaeger would be also sweet. And no signs of getting either of those. So, for the most part, at least at this point... It's pretty much getting this in hopes that we'll get more stuff, or yeah, really like the anime, like myself. But anyways, for a closer look at its details. So for a closer look at Alice Destroyer's details for its head sculpt is awesome. You got the translucent plastic for the visor, but it has also a metallic red. Can you see inside or? No, it's just got a really nice shine to it. Aww. And then you got the blue at the top of the helmets with lots of nice indenting for the metal plating. So on the other side of the head with this little chin. On the back, you get some vents where like the ear sections are. <laughs> I guess I'm just what I'm going to call it. You also get a lot more detailing on the back here. You get the uh, the logo on the back. Lots of armor plating. You get the spinal section here. And the one thing I like too is the use of the coloring. Because even without really painting or uh, panel lining anything here, the plastic really helps to kind of differentiate all the detailing. Yeah. Which is kind of why you would want to do panel lining to begin with, so it helps show us all the minute details. But the way that they did the plastic, I think it helps to still convey that. Granted, it looks like really good panel lining still, but this is still pretty serviceable, especially at the price point, too. Because you got to figure what Gundam Universe figure, figures are like 25 ish. Yeah. This guy was 40. A little bit smaller, but way more posable than those ones are. And yeah, actually, I was to say, you probably get about the same amount of accessories. And to be fair, the, the detailing on it has a lot more going on, too. Same with the, you get the uh, giant bird here on the front of the chest with the star. And then. More plating here on the front of the stomach with the blues and oranges, which is still such an odd color. It took me a minute watching the anime to get used to the this color scheme. And it was weird. It took actually longer to get used to him than it is to get to the graphics of the show. Yeah, which is it's mostly the same style as the Godzilla anime. I'd say a little better. Yeah, it was definitely a little because better. especially like the the kaiju Jaeger fights were so much better than that. I feel like I'm going to have to rewatch that before the new one comes out. Yeah, i got to check it out again sometime, but there's just too many things I'm trying to watch currently. It's hard to go back to like rewatching other things. Armor plating for legs look really nice, too. Get the gray for the knees. More some blues and oranges. My cat is crying behind the door. You get some vents here on the back of the legs. And overall, just really nicely detailed. Again, could you maybe use a little bit of blacks here and there just to uh, help show off a lot of this molded detail on the plating here? I don't know. I'm actually kind of happy with it. At least it's, you know, the molding is there. It's still really good. It's like, it could have been better, but this is still definitely serviceable. And to be honest, I think even without all the panel line, he still actually does the anime really nice justice. I clearly remember some of the other ones we went over. It was nothing. It was just like straight pieces of... Oh, yeah. I was going to say, compared to the other Robot Spirit specific room figures, like Gypsy Avenger is probably the other one that's about as good as this one. Yeah. And I would still say this one's probably better overall. I feel like those those ones got rushed for sure. They were also like 20 bucks cheaper. <laughs> Cause yeah. Yeah, because they were like twenty twenty five in the store. Well, this one's still technically a Robot Spirits figure. But anyways, for its articulation, head. Good look up about that far. What's cool is it has this little... Like, like the neck joint. The neck joint, which has like the pistons on it. This actually moves. Fancy. 
Yeah, so that can adjust and kind of rotate, and then you can move the head to work with it, which is really cool. Arms can go up by that far, down by that far, rotates all the way around, rotation at the top of the bicep. Uh, yeah, it's technically double jointed. Still, let's just say, it looks like a single joint, but it does adjust. Oh, maybe that is just a single joint. It looks like the arm actually bends in there, but Ooh. no, that's just the one little joint right there. It keeps it going forward. Still really good, though. Hands on a ball joint, so you can pop it Break off real easy. Like Especially with these hands, it's really easy to pop off because they're kind of meant to be at an upward angle. For the chest, you get... Two. One chest and one tummy. Yep. So I can kind of move side to side. You get a little bit of rotation. Quite a bit of rotation at the waist. So a lot of nice play there. Legs go outwards about that far. You can sort of play with it a little bit, but nothing too crazy because of the armor plating. But nice back kick. Oh, sorry, forward kick. This is a back kick. Then rotation at the top of the thigh. Then got double jointed knees. So you get a nice bend there. Straightens up about that far. Feet can rotate all the way around. And also, probably some of the craziest play Jeez. on these figures I've seen in a while. And for quick comparisons, here we have the Robot Spirits, Alice Destroyer, compared to some Gundam Universe figures with the Wing Gundam and Gundam Death Scythe. Here is next to some other Robot Spirits slash uh, Sophie Spirits figures with the Burning Gundam and the Raijin from Pacific Rim Uprising. Here is with the NECA Pacific Rim, Hong Kong Brawl, Gypsy Danger, and the SH Monster Arts Godzilla 1989. Here's some other larger robot figures in my collection with the Hydra Stomper Mar from Marvel Legends and the Build um, Dino Megazord. And here it is with the McFarlane's Gunslinger Spawn and the Playmate Skullcrawler. So, overall, for the Robot Spirits Pacific Rim, the Black Atlas Destroyer figure, again, just like we mentioned before, this was in our top figures of the year category. And I think for really good reasons. Because the molding on it is really phenomenal. The paint job's really good. Outside of, again, like we mentioned before, it can use a lot some panel lining. But isn't really needed for the figure. And then it comes with everything they pretty much need for the anime. Yeah, the only problem is, is did they actually give you the option of being able to switch the arms? And that's the part that kind of irks. Because which one are you going to go with, Steve? Huh? Yeah, it's almost like... Well, the nice thing is, is compared to some other robot spirits, this actually is more affordable. Yeah, he is only 50-ish. So, it's not asking too much to pick up another one. If you got, a, a, you got a bit of a disposable income. But I think at that point, you have to really like the anime to want to be able to pick up two. Uh, but with this one, it gives you everything that you need, especially for the first season. Granted, the whip thing is easily the most terrifying thing on this figure. So again, if you do plan on using the accessory, definitely recommend picking up some stands to go along with it, which generally you can order on Amazon. I think this guy is still available on Amazon too. If they are, link in the description if you want to get one for yourselves. But yeah, I'd highly recommend this figure. Easily, probably my favorite Robot Spirits figure this year. Yeah. I mean, is there anything else good that came out from Robot Spirits this year? Um, I will say I didn't really buy that many, <laughs> yeah. to be fair. But from what I've seen, it's either you're paying a lot of money for something that's still good, which I've just been kind of getting, like, the Gundam Universe figures have been my go-to now for Gundams. Just because they're more inexpensive, and for me, that works better. I Because I like Gundam, but I don't love a lot of the series. They're at $20 at Walmart. So at 20 so bucks, <laughs> I can... I can I can scrounge that up. But do you guys think you guys picked up this figure? What do you guys think of the anime? Or is Gordon Logan just more you think? Please let us know in the comments. We also have an Instagram, Patreon, Pinterest, and Facebook. Guys, like you with the date with channel and donate. We greatly appreciate it. And help us defeat those guys just by hitting that like button. Subscribe, become a ranger today. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.